everyone, it's Brad here, and I'm coming at you guys with a video about the Pendulum Predicament. And currently, Pendulum Monsters and Pendulum Archetypes have a very large problem that a lot of people refuse to address. People see the Pendulum Mechanic as busted, and quite frankly, it is probably the most powerful mechanic that has entered this game. The ability to just summon five monsters between the levels of your scales is really, really good. But it's not going to happen. There are way too many things that stop pendulums. Now, to name a few, I'm going to just name the two problems. We got Anti-Spell and we got Naturia Beast that currently exist that will just stop you from playing your deck if you play pendulums. So this means you're going to have to run outs to these cards. Now, Anti-Spell, they have to draw into. I mean, if they draw into it, you're like, oh, I lose, oh well. But a tier 1 deck, or a really powerful deck like people think Pendulums are about to be in this next format, it can't do that. They can't just auto-lose if they drew a Floodgate. A, a deck has to be able to adapt and be able to get over it, yet still be powerful. And Naturia Beast, it used to be kind of hard to make until people discovered Xavier Palomaro. And now it's just like... If they have three monsters, they can make a beast, and then they can just shut you out. You lose. So, a Pendulum deck, if they even want to try to compete, they need to have level fours that special themselves from the hand without having your Pendulum scales. And they deal with a Naturia Beast. But not only do they have to deal with the Naturia Beast... You have to be able to still make a board after that. If you use your Pendulum Monsters to make a Castell and deal with this beast, you are going to lose your Pendulum Monsters. XZ's Monsters currently cripple Pendulums. Because if you go into an XZ's to try to deal with something, you lose what make Pendulums good. You lose their floatiness, or their so-called floatiness. They, they don't go back to the extra deck. You can't summon them the next turn. You can't make that swing like this pendulum is supposed to like resemble. Now, I know why they don't go to the extra deck is because they aren't on the field when they're attached as an XZ's material. So, any pendulum monster on the field that would be sent to the graveyard is sent to the extra deck instead. And now, I mean, that makes total sense why they are sent to the graveyard, but it really just hurts your momentum so much. Now, you're like, okay, there's only two problems that prevent us from setting up scales. Alright, but now I'm going to go ahead and just show you everything else that is wrong. Yes, people see Anti-Spell and Naturia Beast, and they know those are problems. But no deck is actually going to be able to be powerful and compete in a high event and deal with as many problems as it's going to see throughout the day in event. Now, we have scales that we have to invest cards into and we have to put our scales there so we can pendulum summon now pendulum summoning if it works it's going to be great it's going to make us a huge board but we actually have to put solid cards into these scales and now these scales they're very susceptible to being destroyed to name a few we got twister magic mystical space typhoon regular typhoon du twin twister fairy wind Magic Drain. I mean... Wavering Eyes? Why would they make that card already? Like, if they're pushing Pendulums, why would they make that card? Pendulum Storm? Another new card that just destroys your scales. I mean... Pendulum scales aren't free. By all means, if you think Monkey Board is free, see how many times you're gonna actually pull it off. Yes, Monkey Board does replace itself, and like... If its effect works, it gets another scale, and then you you have your scale set then. But you still invested a whole card into that, and then you, you don't get anything out of it after it's there. I mean, Pendulum Scales are definitely a really big flaw because of just their, how vulnerable they are. Uh, I'm just kind of upset because I think these Pendulums have like so much potential, and this format has so much fun, or could be so much fun, but it's going to be ruined because there's just too many things that stop pendulums currently. So I went ahead and just... I told you about Nat Beast and Nat Anti-Spell. You guys know those just destroy pendulums. You know there's a lot of cards that destroy your scales. 
But now let's say you, by some miracle, you set up your scales through your opponent's back row, and now you're going to try to summon. And you go to summon like three or four monsters, maybe even all five. And now you have to just pray they don't have Horn of Heaven, Solemn Warning, Solemn Strike, Grand Horn of Heaven, or Magispector Tornado, or Tempest, excuse me. There's like so many cards that can just completely stop your summon. Like, they don't even get their effects on someone, they just go to the graveyard. Nothing you can do about it. And counter traps in this last set were pushed. It just made it easier for your opponent to completely stop you from summoning. So, pendulums have trouble even setting up their scales, keeping their scales there so they could, can summon, and now they have time, like trouble or a hard time trying to summon. So if you have the luck to actually pull off a Pendulum Summon, you now have to dodge Torrential, Bottomless, Time Space, so many things that are okay against other decks because they can deal one for one with cards, but are amazing against Pendulum because you, you your opponent used one card to deal with five of yours. They're just, they just go away. They get destroyed and banished, they get shuffled into the deck. I mean, your opponent can go plus five, or plus four with a card now, where they would have just used that card to go even, maybe. And probably even a situationally bad even. Pendulums just made those cards better. So people are obviously going to play them and make it harder for you to Pendulum Summon. And now, I'm you're thinking, like, these cards aren't all that common. But there are just too many ways to get access to them. With the release of Guiding Aridane, or I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I don't know what it's called, honestly. That just made counter traps ten times easier to get to. The discovery that X Saber Palomuro can make Beast super easily just destroyed pendulums again. So there are just so many cards that are going to hurt you when you try to play a pendulum deck. So you can try to combat this, and you add Gigabyte, you add Hat Tricker, you add level fours that are going to deal with making or deal with your opponent's anti spell. And your your opponent's Nature Beast, because those are the two main problems you see in your deck. So now normal some level four pendulum you have, special the other guy, and you make a Castell. You now use two of your cards to deal with one of theirs. Uh, you're at a neg one currently. You got rid of one and you used two, but you still have one left. And you lost pretty much what makes pendulums good you lost two of your monsters that you were going to be able to swing onto the board so you dealt with one card that's going to potentially stop you and now you've added in these crappy level fours honestly that don't do much for your deck except out these cards so you have to make your deck more inconsistent and less powerful to deal with a card that's going to be played and it's quite frankly very easy to make naturia beast is honestly too easy to make right now just because of king of the Feralims and hat tricker is a earth pendulum sorcerers are an earth and then we got x saber polymero i mean it's just way too easy to make currently and i mean like despots can just summon it super easily too even but so you've made your deck more inconsistent and less powerful and you dealt with this one card so that's like what pepe is it's pretty much made its deck less powerful than a Pendulum deck can be, so it can try to out-anti-spell in the Turia Beast. And when the deck works, it works well. But when the deck can't play, it can't do anything. It's gone. There's nothing it can do to stop it. Like, it stop you from killing it super quickly. And now, you, you just die. If they make Naturia Beast, you lose if you can't deal with it. Now, the next thing you try to use some way to deal with your opponent's back row. Just try to get rid of their warning, get rid of their uh, Grand Horn of Heaven. Just You just want to make sure they don't have back row when you summon. So you put in Magicians. You start playing Magicians, playing Odd Eyes Magicians, and your deck is now level 6, level 7 based. You don't have level 4s in your deck besides Insight. And if you want to, you can try to add an in like inconsistent level 4 that's going to special itself from the hand to make some way you can deal with anti-spell <clears throat> but you don't have a way to search it like Pepe does or you don't you don't run damage juggler usually 
<clears throat> and so you've gone away from trying to deal with Naturia Beasts and just accepted that you'll lose to those if you see them. That's pretty much what happens when you start playing Magicians. Sure, you do get to work around Solemn Morning, Bottomless. You get to play around those cards because you have Dragon Pit. But now you lose to the root of the problem, the prevention of you even setting up scales. So, now the two best decks, we just kind of analyzed them without naming them at first. And we see one of them loses to back row, and the other one loses to the prevention of setting up their scales. Now, the combination of these is going to be seen all across the board with pendulums. They're going to be able to be powerful and deal with back row, but lose to prevention of setting up scales, like magicians. Or they're going to be versatile, and they're going to have lots of searching power, and they're going to be able to set up their scales usually, but they just lose to back row, like Pepe. This is going to be the most common thing we'll see of any type of summoning mechanic ever. Pendulums are having a very, very rough time. It may not see like seem like it right now, but I will assure you that it's going to be rough for them here in the TCG. Because there wasn't too much else right away in OCG, it doesn't look like they did that bad of a time. People weren't running so many cards that the TCG are going to run. OCG usually didn't run Floodgates, namely because there was Harpy's Feather Duster. So that kind of made counter traps bad, and it kind of made a lot of things that are going to be really powerful here in the o TCG, they made that not exist in the OCG. Now I'm not saying we need Harpy Feather Duster back, but I would honestly love it because counter traps just remove a lot of a lot of skill from the game, honestly. But I'm what I'm trying to ramble out is that pendulums aren't that good right now, guys. We have Cosmo here in the TCG currently, and they're pretty much the one non-Pendulum archetype that are going to be very successful because they are powerful, and they don't lose to the cards that Pendulums lose to. So, if you guys don't believe me that Pendulums aren't going to be great, I want you to challenge yourself and do something for me. I want you to go on TCG Player and look up Six Samurai. Uh, go on YouTube, find a standard deck list. I might even provide one for you. And you're going to order those cards, and you're going to play Six Samurai at a regional. And I guarantee you, if you are a smart player, you are going to beat pretty much every Pendulum player you play. And that's just because Pendulums are fragile. You can play probably one of the best players in the game. If they're playing a Pendulum deck, and you're playing Six Samurais you have a very solid chance of beating them. I'm not saying you're going to win 100% of the time, but I'm saying that you are going to have a very strong matchup against someone who's, like, tenfold better than you. Pendulums, like, just allow for that to happen right now because there are just too many things here in the TCG that are going to stop Pendulums. So, this long rant uh, was kind of spurred by me getting mad that my Pendulum decks weren't working, I would lose to an Aturia Beast, I would lose to Anti-Spell then. If I had fixed that, I would lose to Back Row. There's just no combination that is going to make Pendulums work currently. So, if you guys think you found the key to solving this problem, please tell everyone. I mean, Pendulums really need the help right now. It, it might not seem like it to you guys, but this format is really going to show it to you guys. You're going to run a Pendulum deck, and... You're just going to have no choice but to hope they don't have something that's going to negate your summon sometimes. And you're going to have no choice to hope but they don't that they don't have wavering. Or, like, you have no choice usually, and you have to just play into really bad cards that are just going to punish you for playing a cool mechanic. So, I've pretty much decided not to play Pendulums this format because there are just too many things that stop it. And... Another thing I kind of want to touch on is people keep on saying Pendulums are floaty, like... It doesn't matter if they get destroyed. But I want you to tell me that after you get Dark Hold when you have a field... Like, let's say you have a field of five Pendulum Monsters. So they float to the extra deck after you get Dark Hold. And then you have no defense. And you get OTK'd. So, tell me if you guys agree with me that there is a huge problem right now with Pendulums. 
I'm not saying they're bad by any means, but I am very upset that there is such a large problem and that this was kind of overlooked when they were released. So, leave a comment below. Have a good day. See you guys later.